Okay, we're talking Sunday fun day games. That's right, we got a good Sunday game going on. Uh, Tottenham versus Southampton. Tottenham, oh, the dream is dead, but you can still hold on to something. Southampton uh, playing not bad lately after a good thrashing of a Man City squad with Sugar Shane Long. Uh, Tyrone, your man, how do you feel about your your, your Southampton squad against the taking on this team? <coughs> it's a good time to play Spurs in, in one sense because obviously, um, you know, the, the dream is over. Spurs can't win the league now um, because they, they drew at Stamford Bridge uh, against Chelsea 2-2 <laughs> Hmm? Who scored? Who scored? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's Cahill. Yeah. 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 And it was Eden Hazard. Oh, yeah. of all people. I know. <laughs> I can't remember who scored for Spurs, but uh, it was 2 2. Um, how I was saying that, Spurs have got something to play for, haven't they, Andy? Uh, they've got to finish above Arsenal. And I really want them to finish above Arsenal as well. And so, with that said, I think they'll eke out a 2 1. Could be bigger, but Southampton. Yeah, they're frustrating. We've explained this before, uh, how frustrating they are, because they can be quite limp one week and then they'll go and bash up Man City uh, quite comfortably another, albeit quite a, uh, a, you know, a second string Man City. But all the same, uh, I see this being an entertaining game, it'd be, it's going to be televised. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's televised. Uh, Spurs 2-1 and Harry Kane is Harry Kane and I suspect he will get the golden boot and he'll push his case forward in this one, he'll score. Jamie, do you think that, as you're saying, Tottenham, that they really want to stay above Spurs? Do you think they're really going to still keep the fire going on this to finish the season? Yeah, I think that's huge for them. I think finishing above Arsenal is a massive thing for Spurs fans. Um, I think they're going to be down to the bare bones in midfield, but as I said earlier, I think you're going to have the Ben Tlebs and the Masons and the Carrolls and people like that are going to have to come in because that game would have taken it out of them. Dembele will be suspended. But I mean, it was a, it was a proper football match on Monday. Like, it was a proper throwback oh, to the game. Like, those games, like even those games between Arsenal and United, when you had Vieira and Keane just ate each other's throats the whole time. Um, but yeah, Tottenham need to confirm second. Kane will want to get the top scorer gig. Um, I think Southampton. I, I don't think people praise them enough. They, they can still get fifth place this season, which is overachieving for that team. They've got some very good players there. Kuman, who I think could possibly leave in the summer, this he'll want to go out on a high. And um, they're unbeaten in a four. I still don't think I have enough. I think Tottenham will win this one, and then they'll go into that last game and lose to Newcastle. Tottenham two or three one. You're right. There's still, there's still like chance for a Europa spot, isn't there? With Southampton, they're they playing. should get a Europa League spot. They're, yeah. they're playing really hard and deservedly so. Uh, Andy, how about your how's your team? How are you going to do this uh, weekend against them? Yeah, it's two it's two sides that have really overachieved this season. Um, and look, I mean, just going back to the point, we didn't lose the league against Chelsea on Monday. The league was already lost because it, it, the Chelsea game was indicative of Tottenham's big problem this year, which is being unable to hold leads against the mid-table sides. Uh, it was the same with Chelsea, it was the same with West Brom, uh, it was the same with Stoke. Um, that's been our problem this season. Fortunately, it's a problem that Spurs can iron out and next season yeah. a young team are going to be hungry. The, the, the best thing about, uh, about Monday that all Spurs fans will tell you is the reaction from us, uh, uh, you know, for the reaction from 2 2, which is, uh, we just keep lumps out of them, which is what no Spurs fan, uh, no Spurs team has done since the early 80s. And then even then, it was only Graham Roberts that would do it. So it's nice that we've got a side that got just a bit of fight in them and a bit of passion about the club and a bit of balls. Saying that, um, I don't think we're going to win this. I'm not being pessimistic either. I just think Southampton are, are hungry, they're on a roll. I think Spurs probably only need two points, maybe only one point to finish above Arsenal. I just think Arsenal and City are going to kind of uh, shoot each other in the foot on, uh, on Sunday. Um, so I've got this down as a 2-2. I don't think the midfield is going to be that bad though, Jamie, because we might have lost Dembele and Ali, but they just kind of shift Ericsson into the middle where he prefers to play anyway. We, it's not going to be a Bentelab Mason show. Bentelab's going to be nowhere near that Spurs. Mason, side really Mason? Yeah, Mason's all right. He looks a bit like Andy Serkis. I like him. He does. Yeah. Gollum. <laughs> 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 well, and, and, uh, and sticks on on the wing, so it, it shouldn't be too bad. You've heard it here from one of the guys. The panel has said it's going to be a great game no matter what. Sunday is going to be a great game of football. Hey, there's lots of things available. Go to DraftKings.co.uk, enter in all the tournaments, check out the lobbies. You could win big. Welcome to the big time.